Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Just when you thought you heard it all, skimmers come up with the unthinkable, this time using social media to attack your computer. But it's how they're getting you to click on fake links that's unbelievable. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with what she's learned. It's one of the biggest news stories in the world, the missing Malaysian plane. Clearly, any talk of finding it, or at the very least, a debris field captures our attention. But some people are using our need for information to trick us. The world is eager for news about the missing airline. So eager, in fact, that schemers are taking advantage of our curiosity. According to Facebook and the Better Business Bureau, a post catches your attention. Catchphrases like video of Malaysia plane found in Bermuda Triangle, passengers alive. Another one, news flash, missing plane has been found. The scheme is called bait teasers and they're claiming they have exclusive video of found passengers from the Malaysian plane. It sounds like a sick April Fool's joke, but no one's laughing. If your curiosity gets the best of you by clicking the link, you are taken to an unfamiliar third-party website. A pop-up may appear, prompting you to update your video player. But when you click OK, you aren't getting a new software version. You are really downloading malware. This scheme is not limited to Facebook. The BBB says watch out for similar links posted on Twitter. Don't take the bait. Stay away from promotions that say exclusive or shocking unless it's from a legitimate news source. Hover over a link to see its true destination. And don't trust your friend's taste online. It might not actually be them liking or sharing fake links to photos. Their accounts may have been hacked. Facebook and Twitter want you to report scam posts and other suspicious activity. We have those links for you on our website at WPRI.com. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.